Is a Tesla Powerwall 3 worth the money? Hey guys, today we are going to be evaluating how the Tesla's Powerwall works and its efficiency in bringing clean energy to many homes. With Tesla leading the world in the use of clean energy, it's no surprise that they entered the solar market with the unique Powerwall. Be sure to stick around till the end to find out how the Powerwall works and how viable it is for home use. The Tesla Powerwall is a lithium battery system used for storage of solar energy. Tesla began its journey to enter the home energy storage market in 2015. The company is well known for making electric cars, but their foray into solar storage batteries reinforced their commitment to innovation. Tesla previously had initiated the development of prototypes back in 2012. How does the Powerwall work? Tesla's Powerwall works by pairing it to solar panels that store excess energy so that you have sustained power during the day and at night. How much power is stored will depend on your solar panels. When your solar panels produce more energy than you need, you can store it instead of transferring it to the grid. When your solar panels are not operating at optimum levels, then the stored energy in the power wall is what you use as electricity. Solar energy consumption has seen a rapid rise in use from 2010, as people seek more efficient and cheaper ways to power their homes. This means Tesla has a huge potential to meet demand for this surge in solar energy. On the Tesla marketing material, the Powerwall is described as a rechargeable lithium-ion battery with liquid thermal control. The updated Powerwall 2 was introduced into the market in October 2016. The Powerwall comes as a 14 kilowatt hours unit. The Powerwall has a usable capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours and maximum power capacity of 5.0 kilowatts. The Tesla Powerwall is a modular battery unit, meaning you can add up to 10 other Powerwalls to your system so as to fully cater for your energy needs. The Powerwall has been well received in the market with demand surpassing production. According to Tesla, the company is working hard to meet demand for Powerwall production, as they are experiencing delivery delays extending to 2021. The company announced that it had installed its 100,000th Powerwall home battery pack. The city of California leads in demands for the battery. Powerwall 2 Overview The Powerwall 2 features 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity and an AC battery with integrated inverter. The Powerwall will produce a continuous output of 5 kilowatts, reaching a peak output of 7 kilowatts. The system also comes with a liquid cooling system and 10-year warranty. The Powerwall uses lithium-ion batteries that are produced by Tesla in their Gigafactory in Nevada. For the Powerwall, the batteries are produced in conjunction with Panasonic and consists of nickel, cobalt, and manganese cells. What has changed in the Powerwall 2 compared to the original Powerwall is that the newer version is more compact, lighter, and easier to install. On the side is a simple on-off switch, but the battery still weighs in at 120 kilograms. The IP rating is IP56, though it is not recommended to store in areas with direct sunlight. The new Powerwall 2 comes with an AC-DC inverter charger. This makes it a great addition for homes that have been retrofitted with an existing solar system. The inverter power is high at 5 kilowatts continuous output and peak of 7 kilowatts. This is more than the 3.3 kilowatts for the DC output in the first version. This high output is more suitable to run the multiple appliances in most homes. The high 7 kilowatt power output though is only suitable for brief power surges as the unit can only sustain that kind of power for up to 10 seconds. One clear distinguishing feature in the Powerwall is that it is liquid cooled. This allows it to be used in a variety of temperatures from negative 20 degrees to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Most lithium ion batteries will experience power degrading at temperatures above 40 degrees, and the Powerwall is no exception. This is where the liquid cooling property kicks in as you can continue maintaining a high load for longer. This in turn extends the lifespan of the battery and ensures continued performance at higher temperatures. If you need more power, 
you can set up Powerwall in three phase installations. This gives you up to nine battery modules that you link in series. However, you will also need to install a gateway unit for this. The maximum capacity, three power walls per phase. Since the power wall is an AC battery, you will need a separate solar inverter. This you can use from a variety of brands in the market. While the AC battery can be installed to any retrofitted homes, there is some substantial loss of power due to the DC to AC power conversion stage. How the system works is first the solar energy is converted to AC through the solar inverter. Then it is further converted back to DC so that it can be stored. When you need the power for your appliances, it needs to be further turned from the stored DC to AC. All these conversions result in a 3 to 5% loss. That means the system is 89% efficient due to the multiple conversion points. This is lower than the DC coupled battery that is capable of attaining 95% efficiency. Tesla still controls a considerable market share in Germany for solar battery storage. And it is expected that once production peaks, the company will be able to meet surging demand globally. Powerwall 3 There is a lot of mounting speculation about the launching of the Powerwall 3. Tesla has not released a conclusive date when this will take place, but as the demand for solar energy keeps rising, many are expecting that the new Powerwall 3 should at least have a solar inverter. Having a one-in-all system will come in handy for the multitude of solar consumers across the world. The company, however, announced a new Gateway 2 in November 2018. The new backup Gateway 2 is more aesthetically appealing than the previous Gateway box that was all old and gray in color. The new Gateway now comes with 4G communication, more accurate CT monitoring, and three-phase operation for greater control. The unit is also 30% lighter and smaller than the previous model. The warranty for the Powerwall 2 is 10 years with 10% minimum retained capacity. This is for backup and solar self-use only. This is way better than the original version of the Powerwall that had a limited warranty of just under one year. You should note, as you purchase a solar battery, it will degenerate due to the constant charging and discharging. This makes the 70% retained capacity after 10 years quite reasonable. The Powerwall 2 is a great improvement to the original Powerwall as it is a AC battery, meaning you can use it with a variety of solar systems. The fact that it operates independent of the solar inverter is quite good for companies that also sell their own inverters. The biggest challenge is that there is a loss of energy during the conversions. So would you switch to solar energy? What do you think hinders many homeowners from adopting solar panels for their homes? Share with us in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.